Welcome back. It's time to begin a new chapter in the ancient playground of the First Ones, Xerath Mortis. Let's go and open the way to this mysterious place that has never before been accessed, the Forbidden Lands of Xerath Mortis. Cue epic cinematic. With the Maw Walker's aid, the covenants have been renewed. Yet one sigil is still required to pursue Zoval. Together, we shall manifest the final sigil. This is our purpose. The way is open. Hang on, it's that easy? Wait, treachery! All your preparation for nothing. Because of course there's dreadlords. We rejoin our hero in a lake. And we must open the sealed door to the Forge of Afterlives, the Sacred Heart of the First Ones, by collecting two keys left in the open and opening a console. Okay, cool. After being explicitly told not to annoy the constructs, the first thing we do is go and punch one. Oh well, may as well just start wrecking the creations of the First Ones. So after learning that our new guide, is an exile who was exiled for the crime of being curious about this place. We go off hunting for the group that exiled him, so surprise, surprise, aren't too happy to see us. Impossible. But wait, the prophecy. No, it couldn't be the prophecy. But the prophecy. Oh, shut up. I'm saving your asses here. Now that that's done, let's get back to Ouroboros so that we can... Wait. Wait. Is that... A wombat? Having done that and gone back and got our forces, do you finally trust me? Does that mean I can go exploring now? Screw you, I'm going exploring. Hmm, how do we get up here? Um, aha. Ooh, don't I feel clever. Oh, the zone really is quite pretty though. And it's really nice to see people figuring out the jumping puzzles and learning everything about the zone and learning all the neat ways they can get up to places and discovering all the new areas and fuck this I'm leaving. Okay, look, that's enough exploring for now. Let's just go see what Bolvar wants. Okay, check out the Forge of Afterlives. Okay. Sounds urgent. Let's just... Mm. Damn, I look cool. Okay. You want me to scour the sands? Do you mean comb the desert? Comb the desert, do you hear me? Comb the desert! Anyway, okay. Let's have a look through... Mm, shiny. Alright. The mission. The, the really important mission. Let's just... Okay. Right, yeah, obelisk go boom, not good. Wait, shiny! And it's way up there. How do we... Hmm. Alright, well look, I, I have a quest up there, so let's let's go see. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's come straight out of a synthwave video. So, okay, I've got this quest to get stuff off mobs here, but there's also this cosmic energy thing, and that just sounds real interesting. So I get my cosmic energy, and I use the teleporter, and it takes me further in, and I can get a rune, and use more cosmic energy to teleport up, and I look around, and I find more runes, and more cosmic energy, and more runes, and leap around, and get more cosmic energy, and teleport, and teleport, and teleport, until I reach the top, and, and I'm missing a rune. So I spend hours hunting for it, trying to decode this obvious puzzle. And clearly there has to be a solution because this is just a really clever puzzle from Blizzard and it's just, ah, oh, I've got to figure this out. Looking this area up on Wowhead, it turns out that this is part of the story chain and we'll be coming back here next week. 
At least I'm able to jump down to the rear I spotted earlier, only to find another warrior attacking it. Wait, he died, okay. This will be an absolute... Ooh, um... Hmm. I think that went excellently, don't you? So anyway, I kill the Danger Will Robinson mob and a couple more rares, and eventually, after much stuffing around, I head over to Morgrain and get on with the storyline. There's jailer forces here and they all need to be offed. But, of course, because we are completely incompetent and forget that we're also dealing with dreadlords, we let another obelisk die. So I go back to Bolvar with my tail between my legs. Hi Bolvi daddy, we fucked up again. And he sends me off to recall our forces who were spread out because why? And as it turns out, they don't know either, but apparently I told them to. Oh good, I guess a dreadlord is impersonating us. Guess I'll go deal with some more rares then. Oh, and another jumping puzzle or two while I'm at it. We know the engine is super good for doing jumping puzzles, it's just the best. Anyway, so I go back to Bolvar, he immediately puts two and two together to identify the danger to life and sends me off alone to protect the last obelisk that's protecting the super critical forge that we absolutely can't allow to fail. It's fucking Malganus, isn't it? And I fail, don't I? So Jaina whisks us off to try and convince Anduin not to do the very bad thing that he's obviously going to do but we have to try anyway. And once we completely fail at achieving that goal, Jaina does something absolutely incredible and gives us a portal back to the quest hand in. Thanks Jaina, very cool. Having concluded that we failed in every stated objective that we came here to do, Bolvar decides to put us in charge of Pelagos as punishment and nicks us off to go learn something about this place. But anyway, it gives me more time to go find Jess, right? So totally worth it. And between the two of us, we find an oracle. Ooh. Who needs help? Ooh. And we fail at that too. Uh. So I go back to the people who exiled the one guy who was curious about the place and tell them we got curious about the place. Since we failed to make any headway there at all, we go off to find the exile because of course that would have made sense from the start, but okay. And we discover that he's under threat and it's all our fault. Ish. You've led the assassins right to me. I'm the one that should be helped. So anyway, we save his ass and he still tells us we're full of shit. So we bring the corpse of the Oracle into his bedroom and dump it there with a C, which kind of gets him on board. Anyway, it means the Oracle gets a chance to reform a new creation. Is that you, Wheatley? Who sends me on a trip around the zone to learn the language. And of course, complete more jumping bones. Completely legitimately. Sorry, priest. And more rares. Gotta get all those rares. Eventually, we meet our new best mate. Pokeball. No, wait, sorry. Pokepock. And finally, finally, after all this, we have access to dailies and the all important Patterns Within Patterns quest, which is the weekly, bi weekly, tri weekly quest to fill the bar by doing world quests and finding chests and killing rares. Fuck. So, anyway, that was my introduction to Xerath Mortis. I hope everyone had fun in the first few days and haven't got burned out too quickly. Raid kicks off for us on Thursday night and I wish everyone good loot luck and good fortune on progression. I've been MT, I'll catch you on the next go round.